Hello, and welcome to National Biochar Week. VAL and our subsidiary Etia are focused on waste management solutions. Our biogreen technology is used to convert unwanted waste and biomass into valuable products through pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is the thermal decomposition of materials in an oxygen-free environment. Depending on the process parameters, the outputs of pyrolysis can vary greatly. Our biogreen system allows for precise control of the process and therefore the resulting outputs. The core of our biogreen system is the patented electrically heated screw conveyor, the spirojoule. The screw is heated through the joule effect and directly transfers heat to the product inside the reactor. The temperature of the product is precisely controlled through the automation and sensors. The residence time of the product inside the reactor is also regulated through the rotation speed of the screw, which is adjustable. These factors allow us to adjust the output of the process. Since the temperature and residence time can be controlled, BioGreen offers a solution for converting a wide range of feedstocks into various valuable products. The process can be operated at low temperature for torrefaction or up to 850 degrees Celsius to increase syngas production. Medium temperature pyrolysis of woody biomass results in high quality biochar that can be used as a soil amendment. Through syngas processing, oil can be separated out from the syngas or the syngas can be combusted for additional thermal energy. Syngas and bio oil from certain feedstocks can further be refined or processed to recover hydrogen gas or valuable liquids or molecules. This is just a very brief introduction to our company and our technology. We want to share with you the story of Swedish waste manager, NSR, who purchased a biogreen process to help reach their goals of decarbonizing and reducing the environmental impact of their operations. The plant will start operation in 2021 and will convert 800 kilograms per hour of yard and garden waste into biochar. The heat waste from this process will be used to feed the district heating grid. The biochar produced is 80 to 85 percent carbon and will be used as a soil amendment in the communities where the garden waste originated. This effectively sequesters a large amount of the carbon that was in the waste material. Here is a short video where they tell their story. At NSR, we're trying to valorize the waste coming in to our facilities. For example, garden waste. We crush it down and run it through a biogreen unit, which is a pyrolysis unit uh, that during uh, oxygen-free environment, actually binding the coal into a biochar, which we are putting back to the citizens and the garden, where the garden waste originally came from. One of the benefits of this process is actually that it is a climate positive uh, district heating towards the houses, which is lowering the impact of the environment. When you combust landfill gas, you take down the climate effect to 1 25th. And that 1 25th we're using to make biochar, which even further sinks the carbon impact from the process. When the carbon is finished and comes out of the process, we will take uh, biofertilizer from our biogas plant and uh, use to drain the biochar with fertilizer so it becomes a product for the market. We're really closing the loop. We're taking the waste from our citizens and we give them back heat, which is climate positive. Well, NSR was looking for a technology that would be uh, very precise, uh, very reliable, very controllable in operating conditions, uh, and a technology that would have a long track record on the market at the same time. Basically, uh, Biogreen is a solution that was developed nearly two decades ago uh, with a vision of uh, creating a value from the waste uh, and different residues. So what um, people see as, a, as an unwanted residue, we see as a, something that can create a value for an economy, for a circularity. Um, so the mission of the Biogreen is to take the waste and to turn it into environmental and economical added value for the customers and for the community and for the climate. Thank you very much for this opportunity.
you have any questions, please let us know.